Lisa. Welcome back to another video. Today I have four no-bake recipes to share with you guys which are all really easy and really simple to make and it's perfect for the super hot weather that we've been having because you don't gotta turn on the oven. Starting off by sharing my personal favorite in the summer and it's the Japanese coffee jelly dessert. First add two cups of water into a pot over medium high heat. Add in the coffee granules and sugar and then give it a stir. Once it comes to a gentle boil, bring it down to a simmer and then add in the agar. Use a whisk to stir every few seconds for around 2-3 to three minutes or until the agar, coffee granules and sugar dissolve completely. Let it cool for 5-10ish minutes or until it's room temperature and then place it into the fridge to chill. In the meantime, make some sweet milk by combining some evaporated coconut milk with the condensed coconut milk and then whisk until combined. And then let that chill in the fridge for a little while too. Once the jelly has firmed up, cut it into some cubes and then place it into some serving cups. Pour over the sweet milk and that's literally it. You got yourself the most refreshing and easy dessert. This dessert is super popular in Japan and you can also add a shot of chilled espresso to make it like a gradient effect like I did here. Or you can add in some whipped cream or ice cream, do what you like, but definitely try this one, especially if you like coffee. And if you don't, maybe try like um, matcha or something. Actually, that could be really good. Okay, moving on to recipe number two for these peanut butter crispy balls. Add in the peanut butter and dates into a food processor and then give it a whiz until combined and forms like a thick paste. Then add in a half tablespoon of coconut flour if your paste seems a little wet. Transfer that into a large bowl and then fold in some Rice Krispies. Take a heaping scoop of the mixture and then roll it between your hands. Place it onto a lined baking tray and then put it into the freezer for 5, 10, 15 minutes or until it's kind of cold. While you're waiting, you can melt your chocolate chips in the microwave or over a double boiler. Once your balls have chilled and firmed up, take it out of the freezer and then drizzle it with some chocolate. Or you can even just coat the entire thing by rolling it into the chocolate. I'm not joking when I say I make these peanut butter crispy balls every single week because it's so easy to make, uses really cheap ingredients, and I love that it's crispy. It's not just like a date ball with some nut butter, you know, because it's like crunchy and I tend to really like crispy snacks. Moving on to recipe number three, we're going to be making some no-bake cookie dough brownies. We're going to start with the brownie layer, so add in the dates, chocolate almond butter, coconut flour and cacao powder into the food processor, and then give it a whiz until it forms a dough. Press that into a lime baking pan and then place that into the freezer. Next, we're going to be making the cookie dough layer, so into a bowl combined and then melted almond butter, coconut butter and vanilla and stir. Then add in the almond flour and then give it a mix. Once incorporated, add in the coconut sugar and the coconut flour and then give it another mix. Fold in the chocolate chips and then give it one last really good mix. Take the pan with the brownie out of the freezer and then press the cookie dough mixture in. I use a flat potato masher but you can just use like a measuring cup or a regular cup to kind of make it like flat and even. Place that back into the freezer to firm up maybe like 15-20ish minutes and then just cut them up into whatever size you like and that's it. This is definitely the more indulgent no-bake recipe. It's super good and sometimes when you don't know if you want like a cookie or brownie, you can just have both. Okay, so for the last recipe, we're going to be making some no-bake key lime mini pies. First off for the crust, into a food processor, add in the buckwheat, dates, almond flour, coconut butter, and salt, and then process it until a dough forms. Divide the dough into six pieces and then press them into six medium-sized muffin tins. Place that into the freezer to chill and then in the meantime, we're going to be making the filling. So into a small pot over medium-high heat, add in the lime juice, cornstarch, lime zest, condensed coconut milk. Whisk constantly and consistently until it begins to boil. Then add in the coconut milk, agar, matcha powder, and lime zest. Stir constantly until the agar is completely dissolved. It takes around one minute. 
Then remove it from the heat and then pour the filling over the chilled tart crust and then place that back into the fridge to chill until the filling is completely set. Once the filling is set, the dessert is ready to be eaten and you can top it off with some whipped cream or just eat it as is. This is a really easy way of satisfying your cravings for key lime pie. I love key lime pie, but I hate making tart crust because you gotta put it in the oven. But this crust has like a crispy-esque kind of feel because of the buckwheat and the filling is perfectly sweet and sour. It's so good. So those are all the recipes I have for you guys today. I hope you really enjoyed them. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.